Welcome back to Sincere Deceit. We went through a lot in the last episode, and in fact in the other 16 or so episodes, there has been some progress involved, or more than others, let's just say. But nothing beats this bit of sadness right here. Competence points, attack points, defense points, spirit points, and agility points all max out at 999. Also, a level is maxed out as well at level 40. You may ask, how come she can't progress any more levels? Well, look at the experience. There is no more experience left to gain. And if you're thinking that I should reach for 9,999 experience, I mean, health, health points, sorry, that's not going to happen. I wish in a way we could buy more Mondays, actually, because that would protect you from critical hits. Makes, makes, <laughs> makes your defenses even more worthwhile. So then, we've got the Aura of Nothingness, which really doesn't really do much when your defense is already maxed out. And in fact, if I took all, off all of the batter stuff, then it would still reach at 999 for every stat. Alpha, 999 everything. Omega, 999 and everything. Epsilon, which I probably still don't pronounce correctly, 999. It's all a bunch of maxing out stats. Because I want the best chance in order to complete this game with whatever boss is awaiting at the final hurdle. Anyways, hello there. Hi, did you find anything? I will give you the frying pan. Hey, a frying pan. This is exactly what I needed. Thanks. Here. Take this music box I found. Don't know why someone would just throw it away. A music box has been given to you. Thank you. Thanks again for the frying pan. This will come in handy. You know what? You've been real helpful, dear stranger. But what does the music box do aside the possibility of playing out copywritten music? Let's see. I won't listen to all of that just in case it is copywritten. Right, time to find the friend that we fought in the area of nothingness. Which actually is down here where this bird man is over here actually. You see? These two right here. I found my friend. Caesar's been waiting a while, I think. I'm just happy you're okay. Maybe we can explore a bit before heading back home. Where is your home? Looks like they represent dualities. One of them represents on the surface and the other represents not on the surface. Reen finally showed up. I'm happy to see he's safe. I'm fine. Can you see by my expression that I'm fine? Do you want to go to the park? Yeah, that would be fun. I wonder if following them around would be okay, like, knowing their journey and stuff like that. Could be an easter egg, I don't know. But what I want to do now is explore all of the different zones that have been corrupted. Because once you've done all of the zones and stuff like that, then you can traverse back to those um, zones that you've previously visited. So zone 0, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 and just see what changes there have been within that also just a side note here when you look at this poster which looks quite ominous in its way it's sort of like a beckoning poster then our two friends here disappear also there's something else as well which i discovered while going through these parts Well, hey there, Vinny. I warned you to stay away. <laughs> I tell you, if you dare show your face here again, I will kill you. And what do you do? You show up anyway, like you own the place. <laughs> Let's get this over with then. Okay then, Vinny. We'll see what you have to offer against me. Me who is immortal at this point in time. He does inflict burning, which is even worse than poison, because it's literally a times two effect of poison. There we go, you go down out of account, Venny. Let's see what you can do against us now, then. Hmm. <laughs> so, that's it, huh? You win. I lose. Like always. <laughs> well, aren't you going to finish a job? Just get it over with already. You've already proven I'm not worth my salt anymore. I'm weak. I have no desire to purify you. You're not an evil person. What? 
What are you talking about? How can you say I'm not evil after everything? I let so many people die, including my own sister. How can you say that it isn't evil? Manipulation doesn't equate to being evil. I have no need to purify someone like you when you're proven yourself well enough. But, but, but what? Just leave. I have to think about all of this. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me, who's been a naughty boy? Is a. Uh, are we stuck here? I think we're stuck here. Yeah, we're, we're stuck here. Um, oh, we hear music. But we can't move. I can't see anything. So, yeah. When I was going through this scenario earlier, then he didn't even show up on the screen. It was literally, you try and walk up, but you stopped and you couldn't move anywhere. But it was trying to play a scene, but it couldn't load up the scene itself because the characters themselves, or the character itself, did not show up. Whereas in this case, Venny does show up, but the screen doesn't go doesn't go back to normal. So there's two bugs that need to be dealt with within this particular scene of the game. One is displaying back into the game after defeating Venny. But the other beforehand is for Venny to show up and then the events transpire through there. Let's go explore some corrupted zones in the meantime. So let's see, let's go in here. We've already found the being that resided here who gave us the aura of nothingness after defeating him. So we'll do this in order. And then once we've looked through all of these corrupted zones, then we'll go to the outside section, see what that is doing. Let's see, enter zone zero. And this area seems largely okay, actually. There's a ladder that goes all the way up here, I imagine. Yep. Hello. Hey, did Zachary tell you I was up here? Can't get any time off. I'm taking a smoke break, but I guess if you need anything, I can take those credits off you. Um, I don't have much as in, like, uh, credits to give you so that I can buy stuff. Also, you good? Now leave me be so I can finish my cigarette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, so this zone, as far as I can tell, is not corrupted. Hello. Salo <laughs> Salutations, Flipless, and company, of course, is a pleasure to see you here once more. I trust the rest of your journey has been fruitful. As of myself, I am recuperating from prior events. Pet the judge, of course. Zones! I cannot deny a gesture such as this. Many thanks, my friendly, sporty companion. <laughs> I haven't seen Pablo this happy in a very long time. A good petting always puts a true smile on that feline face of his. Thanks. <laughs> Bonios Dias is a fine one, is it not? Pablo asked me if I'd stop by, and I can never say no to a visit. It's good to see some semblance of normality in this world for once, even if it's only temporary. Anyway, care to take care to buy anything, my dear friends? I have plenty of fine goods for sale, and if you need anything special, Lexi's on the roof. We just saw her. Also, the fact I haven't seen her yet without a um, without her mask on. Right. Or oh, we can buy the temporal versions of those. It's the only place we could buy the temporal ones. The other places we can only buy the scapular version. But not the others, uh, you know, we've got all of nothingness, we get the sex on, um, the batter, because that's how he feels, nothing really. So let's see, nothing really much when it comes to zone zero, although there is this bit under here actually. Let's see what's under here and this boss. <laughs> Hello there, ducky. Have you come to dance with me? Nah, I've come to purify you. Pablo came back recently and spent some time with me. You even brought Zachary with him. Isn't that exciting? But he also took all my sugar away. He said it is bad for me. If you have any, I can give you this shiny thing Pablo put down here. We can dance together. <laughs> oh, I smell sugar. Do you have any to spare? Uh, I'll give you a big bag of sugar. <laughs> Thank you, Ducky. Uh, my name is not Ducky. It's the nicest gift you could ever give it to me. You can have this shiny orb that Pablo put down here. 
a grand chocolate has been given to you. <laughs> Thanks, Grand Doggy. You're my new friend now. Let's dance together real soon. <laughs> oh dear, you sound like a very, very young child who's got his um got their candy taken away from. Fine, we'll dance. Oh, this is what you call dancing, huh? Fine then. I'll take away your sweeties, along with your life. Temporarily, probably. Oh, the sweets are also enemies. Okay. That's cool. Really weird. Weak to all ailments, resistant to all ele- Oh, all elements. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Candied Dommy. Great. Okay, that's dealt with you, because of the thanks of TV effects of burning and poison. But at least she just took out her HP outright. So, we need to deal with these alive sweeties. That'll be pretty easy. I did it, I took care of these. Experience point doesn't matter. 50,000 credits on the other hand does. Blah, meat received. <laughs> you danced so well, Ducky. I'm so tired after that. We should do that again sometime. I can always make time to dance with a good friend. Okay, can we do that again? <laughs> Fine, we can't do that again. We can't keep farming for credits after all. That'll be game breaking. Righty who? Where do we go next? Maybe not here. Oh, well, I'm glad to have the credits. <laughs> um, you know what? I I know this is there's no benefit to any of this, but I'm doing this for equipment's sake. I'm going to get three of you, we're going to equip you all with a temporal, whatever it is, and then we're going to be on our way. We've only got two of them since we already had one. <laughs> right, gonna sell some stuff, somewhere we don't need, let's see, oh, actually I'll keep that, and I'll keep that as well. I don't know if like Macy Armor was is like a um, an ending condition of sorts. One thing I would like to buy is Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Well, mainly Mondays and probably Tuesdays. No, not Sundays yet. That is not an item. Or maybe not yet. We have not yet discovered it. But the thing that um, stats can't benefit now because of our stats being at 999 is something which can do something else like decrease the amount of CP used or prevent critical hits and that's why I think critical hits is something which we can outright deny if we all have Mondays attached to us let's go to zone 1 then let's see return actually we'll save the game first and then return to the nothingness return to the nothingness let's see that's what I thought Maybe it's not even corrupted yet. But we've done all the things. Fine, you know what? We'll go outside just to see what is up within this plane. Because I don't care at this point in time. Oh, there we go. I'm prepared for whatever it is that this part of a game will take us through. Which area shall we go? Oh, do you know what? We won't go through the actual entrance. We'll just swing around and see what this world has to present for us. Although this to me sounds like it's going to be a red route. A paper lies in front of a rivery mess. We'll take the paper. But we've got to fight this thing. Oh gosh. I imagine this means it's going to be very, very strong. But not strong enough to take us out. Let's see. What have you got? The flesh. Corruption imitating life. Let's see. Weakness is not applicable, And resistant to venom and palsy. Right. That sounds like you need some smoke. And down you go. 5,000, 1,000. Obtained numbers hint. Wonder what this would represent. Let's have a look. Numbers hint. Cheat sheet for the puzzle challenged. Okay, we should have a print screen of that so we know what to do in the future. So, it's either we need to press on them to make them go red or press on them to make them go white whichever way around it is but i'm glad we came here first we're going through the main entrance of this forest of whatever it would be if space and time were to be disrupted let's go through here then 
And this place looks like a hall of blood. A rotating number puzzle. Inspect, absolutely. I imagine it's just a simple phase of you press this one once, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's it. It's just a very easy solution in order to go through this selection. This phase. There's three different doors we could have gone through there. Ooh, these two. Hmm. Now I'm wondering. What do they have to do with things? Oh, hi. Greetings, Purifier. This one and some friends have taken shelter in this towering structure. It seems this is the last place to be consumed by the mass of corruption. Perhaps this is why you appeared at this place at this moment. We wish you luck. You will need it. Thanks. And you? <laughs> Ah, uh, there you are, Monsieur Batter. You're awfully late, aren't you? What are you doing here? I am where I'm needed, of course. This place is quite dangerous for an unexperienced player, I must warn you. If you've been out of place, or just not sure enough, by all means return later. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. Yeah, right. The safe cube next to me will take you back to the main path. Otherwise, Flare Bliss, feel free to do business as usual and hand over your credits. Or you can relax with me and watch some TV. <laughs> What do you have to offer then? Just the usual, okay. Just the usual items, nothing like Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday. What about the ghouls? They're taking shelter from the outside, the poor things. The tall one surprised me when he pulled out some critics asking to exchange them for meat. Animals sure are smart these days, aren't they? They sure is. And what is that there on the table? <laughs> oh dear. Hello, baseball man. To reach you a surprise to see you here. This one's been taking shelter. Outside, scary. Very scary. Lots of screaming and death out there. Has baseball man come here to take shelter as well? No. Ah. Ah, yes. To reach has made new friends. Allow, allow this one to do some. That one is Jadu. Greetings, baseball man. Jarecha has told us plenty about you. That one there is Jabuk. And he's sleepy. And that one behind you is Jessica. But Baseball Man has already met her. Greetings once again, Purify. It's a curious thing to see you arrive so late. We are curious to see what you will do. And with that, Jarecha has amassed a full party just like you. If Baseball Man wishes, this one can assist by fighting fights for you. Just say the word to Jericho or Rally, his friends will club rain. Maybe if we didn't have any add-ons, then that would be a possibility. Okay, the path of green. Oh, hi. Is there something which I can do? You have arrived, the purifier. But you're too late. If you think I'll give up this power, you are dead wrong. You have to tear it out of my cold, dead hands. See, if you want to live, you'll turn back right now. I'll challenge you. Don't you think that you're a threat to me? I'm 999 in every stat. I will challenge you. You will regret that decision. <laughs> you may be the personification of Zone 1's boss, but that doesn't mean to say that you're going to outlast us. Commanding Bird Girl reborn through a guardian. Well, then it seemed that we're good. So, resistant to poison, madness, and sleep. So, the ashtray must also mean burning as well. Hmm. Good. This will seem like the first kind of challenge in our path of ultimate conquest of these ghouls. Good. That was a fine challenge. Like, every time we manage to take a turn, it can turn as well. Lovely, and... Ugh, I knew you'd be strong, but this is... Ugh, never mind. You bested me, but to no avail. In this tower, my body remains immortal. Fight me again if you wish, but it will be pointless. Okay. So, you're never going to die. Is that what's going to be the case? Then we shall do that, and then face the next one, who will be the embodiment of... That circus freak, hello. Ah, uh, uh, it's you. His obsession. 
It's a pity he was too weak to make you his. If you had given yourself over, the little sob wouldn't have died so miserably. Oh, really? Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, well. Are you here to slay me, Purifier? You would be a true idiot if you were. There's a reason those... So, these meat sacks keep this guardian power to themselves. I will challenge you, then. You think I'm gonna laugh at you? <laughs> Not when I can slay you. No matter how intimidating you look. Let's see, Pazuzu, vile spectre reborn through the suffocation of power through, z through uh, the Entertainment District's Guardian. Resistant to uh, add-on attacks and poison and venom. I haven't got anything that can cause venom on it, but I'm not gonna lie. Looks like your madness made you turn against yourself at times. That's through the madness status element. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah yes, well a strong puppet indeed, it's no wonder I lost. Yes, yes, no wonder. Very well, I admit my defeat, but I remain still. This tower, it will not let its guardians perish. You can choose to let me taste your puppet strength again if you wish, even though it would be pointless. No, I would just like to test myself against your kind just once. I do wonder why those two are around this door. Maybe it's just a place for keeping yourself at. And you, robotic guardian. Analyzing subject. Subject classified as a class S pure factory interlock interlocator. Full title the batter. Performing action. Response. Please stand by. You have arrived at long last. I have long since cast aside my original remains in favor of a mechanical form. What remains of me, however, has become corroded. There is nothing that could be done about it, as much as I struggle to keep it at bay. I know why you're here, and so it must be done. The outcome, however, won't be desirable for either of us. I would challenge you, then. <laughs> So you obviously are of the metal kind, I'd imagine. If you are anything else, I'd be very surprised. Gaius Construct, Preserved Guardian, Soiled by Corruption. 10,000 HP, but there's also the arms as well. Arm Constructs, Limb Add-ons, that give the main body power. And they're all weak to add-on attacks. But also they are... Um, smoke... Or at smoke and metal, I believe. Bye bye. <laughs> that was a weird exit, but you know, I'll take it. Let's see. So it is done, but my body yet still remains. This place won't let us die, no matter how many times you try to strike us all down. Perhaps this is our punishment for the sins we committed in life. You must move on from this place. And that I shall do to the last of the Guardians. Now this one. The one with the snake in charge. Hi there. Yeah. Oh, challenge. You must be the most deadliest of them. Oh my goodness sake, you're overwhelming in size. Black Serpent. Abomination ruled by its lust for power. When you say Black Serpent, that sounds like the main antagonist of this game. Weak to madness, furious, blinded, resistant to poison and venom. That's cool, that's cool. We can cast some madness on it and it'll turn upon itself. Yeah, that is a problem. Three f people, or three of our four allies simultaneously poisoned at the same time. That's not good. This is definitely the toughest of them all. There we go. You are an abomination and a half, I'm not gonna lie. You are the only really tough one out of all of them. <sighs> and what now? Challenge again. No, I've already defeated you all at, week, at least once. So, with all of them lit up now, what would happen from here on out? Let's see. With those done, I should also mention, since it's important, in case it wasn't clear, this place is a boss rush of sorts. 
The enemies you encounter here are effectively immortal, so while you can defeat them in combat, they will not disappear. Despite this defeat of them, at least once is still necessary to progressing. Well, before connected to this room, at least. Now, how would you like to spend your credits? Keep going about your credits, don't my credits, don't you? Um, I would like some way progression throughout the game, like the corrupted zones, for example. Like, there are like helpful puzzle hints as images within the files of the game itself, which allows you to be able to uh, solve certain puzzles, but they're all within corrupted zones. But obviously, we can't do that. Ah, I. So it's kind of like the wide group, but for somebody else then. I'll just buy this just to fill up inventory space. We've defeated all of them at least once. So, what do we do from here on out? Okay, this one has been pursuing the makeup of the structure. We believe you will find this information most curious. Jessica gives you a warm paper. Okay, we have notes down our findings for you. Follow the instructions should lead to something tucked away. The path is for you and you alone. Neither us or our brother could hope to enter there. Please be wary. This one cannot confirm what we just shared is perfectly safe. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, wish to tag out? No. It's you as you, the baseball man. Jadu can tell just by looking you are very strong. <laughs> you walk with weightless footsteps, yet your meat metal stick is clearly hefty. If you weren't standing right now we wouldn't think you were even real <laughs> and you're just asleep you're just a sleeping sloth georgia doesn't like it out there this one would prefer to stay inside then stay in then stay inside allow oh for goodness sakes fine what um I uh, prefer to stay inside. Oh, we can go to other portions of the building. I didn't even notice that. My bad. Yes. Why... As I say, why can't I go outside? That's like... The, f the reason why I want to come out here. Just see if there's anything else new now. Because of... These instructions. Let's see. Look. At, let's look at the warm paper. And see what is going on. Scrollings of a hidden path. Let's see. Um, where does this even start? <laughs> oh dear, so we need to find four circles and then do a combination of everything six times, I presume? I'm not too sure. Battle of the darkness, I suppose. The wriggling mess. Different from the other boss that was in the same place as last time. There we go. He wasn't so bad, 2,000 experience in that at all. The mass spat out a prosperity ticket. His onslaught doesn't seem to be slowing down. Keep fighting, okay. Okay, now there's two of them. So it's like a boss rush in a way. What did I defend? I don't know. Bye bye, down you go. 4,000. Let's see, how long can we do this? The mass spat out a king. His onslaught doesn't seem to be slowing down. We'll keep fighting. We'll keep doing this until all the enemies come out. That's three enemies. How many more are you going to present to us? Let's see. The mass spat out a prosperity ticket. I wonder what kind of other items it could spit out. Like, let's say, a Monday, for example. Okay, so now we're just down to two. I wonder if these are tougher. Battle four. What else is there going to be? Blah, blah, blah meat. Spat out Joker. Hmm. It seems to be continuous, but it gives you a random assortment of enemies. Like, I don't think it would go down to, let's say, well, go up and say as much as three, or even possibly four for that case. Let's try and see what this note tells us to do. Door over here. Where does this lead to? Oh, hi there. Everything involves a battle with these things. Holy Christ. Guardian of Zone 1 ruined by corruption. Okay, so it's better versions or tougher versions of the corrupted ones we faced in the past. This time in zone form rather than the district form. This episode is just basically a huge mass of extra bosses to face. 
Unless, of course, this all is within the main story. Um, I don't think we could fight... We could possibly fight you again. But there's no dialogue with that one, so I'm not too sure. Okay, that one's lit green, so we just have to fight all of these at least once. Just for once, to be able to progress through. Let's see, let's go through this one. Oh, this one's up a ladder, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, I remember the Zone 2 one being up in the top of the tower. Hello there. You're hideous. You look like a clock as well, in a way. Or even the Steam logo. Japhead, what remains of the Avian Guardian of Zone 2? 13,000 HP. Oh, goodness sakes, that freaked me out for a second. It summoned three monsters to help it out. I thought the game would have crashed in or something. <laughs> that would have been bad. Right, give you increased spirit and then you attack everyone at the same time because that is helpful in these situations. Right, the main one is taken out. Now just to take out these three lesser beings. Bye bye. The extras are obviously annoying, but twelve and a half thousand credits, hell yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will take all of those, thank you very much. And that one is lit up, I imagine. Yes. Oh, that's lit up purple. Lovely. I wonder what's on the other side then. Like if we go right or something like that. Okay, let's go up to the third one. Zone three's boss. And oh darkness. Darkness awaits. Big T oh you remember this guy being big. Hello there. I hope you're having a lovely day where you is with that gigantic smile of yours. 14,000 HP, weak to bat, sorry, bat attacks, yes, and being blind and being furious. Why are these bosses resilient to poison? Ah, you were significantly easier than the second one, who spawned more friends in. It all return to the darkness then. And then let's heal up and see what's on the right side. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're all lit up. What is next on the agenda? So, there are no other bosses, though, because we've done the zone bosses and the guardian bosses. So, what's over on this side, then? Ooh, this is a bit eeky. Oh, hi. Just strong foes. What on earth could you be? The judge, suffering guardian, desiring death. Well, this place will always keep you alive, unfortunately, so your request shall not be requested. Burning and poison, that is a mighty stack, and those don't go away as well, so that's a massive advantage for us. And there it goes. Yours, not that hard at all. Temple Epidemus has been received. And I imagine we only need to take care of you once. Let's have a look. Yep, you're lit up. What are the rest of these bosses then? They're just like, like what would have been if it wasn't for other things. Stand in this way. What about you? You're something. You're like a corrupted version of that dance girl we saw in Zone Zero. Let's see. Sakuri, crazed lonely girl surrounded by rotting ch <laughs> oh, 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 all other ailments and resist to poison. Okay. Oh, there's candy dummy as well. Burnt candy full of corruption. All other elements resistant to poison. So you definitely can't be hit with poison, man, because you just don't get poisoned. The only issue with this boss is that I can't seem to tell which one is the boss and which one are the candies. <laughs> With all the candies down, now we can focus on the main culprit of the candies being spawned in in the first place. Let's say you do against my attacks then, huh? Let's see, bad attacks seem to be not your forte of weakness, but that's fine. We can do stuff still. We can in inflict stuff on you. You can be furious at yourself. I will give you something along the line so that we don't have to use I terms in order to heal ourselves up or we can just simply siphon the HP and CP from you keep on going then keep on going until you are taken out my corrupted friend my corrupting dancer friend there we go 
purified at the last 50,000 credits. That is a huge amount of credits. No more with you. Now let us go with the last. Oh, they're all yellow. Okay. So you just need to defeat them at least once and then you'll be all good. Oh, the horse is back. This is unreadable. Okay. What do you have to say now then, fool? You're even more corrupted version than your previous came that we fought in the previous episode. Macy swore equine consumed by a parasitic corruption. No, you're the same, and even with the same stats as well. Or perhaps a bit more. There we go, there goes down that horse. Like the other one, a very, very long battle, because you've got to wait for it to, t move, to, to transform into its final form before you even can do any actual damage against it. But 58,000 credits does sound good. But that note is still unreadable. Okay, let's move onwards then, heal ourselves up, and see what is within the top portion of this mad outside world. We've got over 150,000 credits and not a care in the world. What is... What is that, Fane? Um... Excuse me? But there is a blue path here, which is good. Blue path means good, right? Oh, there's a blue path and a... Red path? Why on earth would I go for the red path, honestly? The blue path! It'll be... Hope you're doing well. Oh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Mighty guardian of this zone. You wellow and scream. You seem like you'll be even tougher than the boss that we got spanked by in um, the first room we had. Bye bye, you go. It wasn't that hard. 15,000. Hmm, and. Bye bye. That seems good, yes? Okay, that's lit up. Now the other one. Okay, this seems like the more evil side. Hello, how are you doing? And obviously, yes, chained up morsel you gonna break free indeed you did break free and well you're just a big man without a face that means your mother couldn't love you because you don't have a face but body his remains Something is wrong, Flair Bliss. We should try to defeat this monster as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to do that, my man. Do not worry. You have me with you. We shall do this together. We're stacking this damage with the burning and the other things. Let's try and poison it as well. Just give a bit more damage onto it. There we go. That's good. That's good. All right. Very. Is it purified? Perhaps. Indeed it is purified. Excellent. Okay, so it was wrong with it, but yet we did ourselves justice. So then, with that out of the way, I imagine there's still something to do with this puzzle right here. So this is definitely the place in which we need to um, do this puzzle with. But where do we start? There's definitely a thing. Where do we start this? Like, here's, like, where we are. But honestly, there is nothing which we can really work with, I'm not going to lie. Like, how do we go through this? We're on our own here, because the, uh, the non-spoiler helpings when it comes to the puzzles, we don't provide any information about the outside. Oh, an activation sound occurred. And... Save! And you? Ah, oh, my poor counter has a hole in it. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. It seems you've opened the gate to the final boss. You best stock up while you can. Who knows what awaits you up there. This is not yet the tower, though. But still, we have all these credits in our possession. Yeah, the horse is one that definitely gave us the most amount of credits. I'm not going to lie. 
Right, we've stocked ourselves up to the nines, and for goodness sakes, we've got nights and I have every single goddamn way to cure status ailments, so there's nothing that can pierce this body and this temple. Right, save and go into it. This is apparently the final boss. Are you sure this is the final boss? Who would this final boss be? I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite excited. Or maybe it's the two beans that we saw earlier, actually. These two? Hi there. I'm here. Oh, I suppose we can't delay it any longer. You two are kind of dualities then. Yeah, this is out of our hands now. And with that in mind, let us begin. Ooh, darkness descends. One eye. Oh, you're one beam then. He's sleeping. Prepare to be purified. Time for you to be purified, O oh holy, unholy one. Let's see what you have on you. Let's see. 20,000 HP, slumbering newborn god of creation. Weak to bat attacks and being asleep. That's good. And also is resistant to all um, types of elements. And resistant to poison, venom, furious. And I'm sure that also includes like madness and burning, but we'll try those anyways. And theater, add on of a newborn god. Okay, so you're trying to replicate our abilities then. Oh, there's more than one. More add ons. Oh my gosh, we got ourselves a tough fight ahead of us. There's the main one down. Now the add-ons turn to be smited. Oh, zero? You suffer zero damage? How dare you suffer no damage? At least the add-ons can do some damage, but that's going to be a bit difficult, the add-ons. There's one of them down. Yeah, we should use a bat to uh, restore the HP of our allies because... It would be pointless trying to attack them with a bad attack if it basically does no damage. So it's going to be a healer from here on out and the add-ons will do all the work. I can't imagine what this would be like without any add-ons, as in the hard mode of the game. Because at the beginning of the game, there was the option of not having any add-ons. Obviously, I would like to be able to get through the game with as less stress as possible. So therefore, I put add-ons on. But also remove the, um, the sound based puzzles because I think those just generally um, don't suit well with me in the way that I like to solve puzzles. I like to see things and be able to see things and know exactly what it is I need to do rather than trying to fathom out a sound based mechanic. There's another one down, it's just one left. The others didn't stand a chance. What do you think you're going to do, my friend? Idealistic drama for you, all the way. A harder challenge, please. 60,000 experience. 999,999 credit. Maximum credits that can be received at one time. Hey. How you doing? Oh. What? The Ashley bat has appeared in your inventory. What is the Ashley bat doing? Who is Ashley? Is is are they a person that the bat knew him once upon a time? Let's see. Still nothing. We'll have the Ashley bat then. But still, outside still, would there anything be anything else like that really bizarre puzzle that we were given? but couldn't do. Oh, we're back here. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> and you're speaking in French. Yeah, you're definitely speaking French. Oh, hello. We pressed it all incorrect. And here is the hidden... Oh, hi. Hero of all memories, then, I imagine. And this is, yeah, because we'd have to have all the memories here in order for these glowing orbs to appear. Isolation. Betrayal. Wrath. Oh, these are all the, um, what do you call them? Um, some, I've 
look at what they're called now. They're like traits which people have. Naivety. And what's this? You have our thanks to free us ruined and discarded souls like that. Not just anyone could do such a thing. You must care strongly, deep, deep down. This is not a reward anyone would be happy with. But if you wish to be a little closer with us, then we'll allow you to fall. Just remember, you will find nothing that will aid in completing your mission here. This place is worthless, just like the rest of us. How dare you say such a thing? We'll be right back when we are saved up because um you literally started out at the top spot and then you do all of those sequences in which that paper give you and then from there unlock that so it all leads up to the top section and then you press six on it so yeah apparently we'll find nothing down here it's a bottomless pit do you wish to jump uh, there may be no turning back. We'll do it. We'll absolutely do it. How dare you say we can't do it? <laughs> no turning back. How dare you? Let's see. Well, we're definitely in a corrupted place. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Let's see. There's something over here. Hmm. Definitely is corrupted. And certain tiles we can't go over. Um, oh, health points and competence completely restored. Even though it doesn't really have that sort of thing. Hmm. This could definitely be a path of evil. I'm not going to lie. And there's something around here. Something dangerous. Sort of like a choose your own adventure sort of thing, but here we do literally don't know where we're going. <laughs> oh dear, what is this maze, honestly? Sort of like a conglomeration of different aspects put together, it's ward off, yep. Very much so, ward off. No turning back, you're right. There's always a path forward. We just gotta find the path forward, and then the path back is well, this is all there. No, we can't open it. Fine, then. If that's the way you want it. Hmm, somebody over there. For one of these doors. And... Here. Where could all this lead to, then? Like an even tougher version of the boss we once faced. Went in there, it's locked. That's also locked. That's locked. Hmm. This abyss, honestly. Fine, we'll go through there then. This is unreadable. All our veins are unreadable. Oh, hi. Do we need to feed you something? It's unreadable. It's a... It's a... Elf. I won't jump in just yet. I mean, I wonder how big this place is, actually. Considering all things. Alright. Wait, what? Return, oh, return to outside. Uh, I was wondering why it looked familiar. Gaius. And you. Even more corrupted versions of these bosses then. I am both fascinated and confused at the same time as to why that's there. But also, why is it there if we can't face it? Obviously, it's something quite bizarre in its own ways. Fine, we'll jump in the mouth then. And it's a game over? No, it's not game over. It's literally another part of this realm. Hi there. Oh, you're talking to me. That's rich. You never gave me a second thought before, but now that you're at your lowest, you come crawling back to me on your knees, hands and knees. You disgust me. <laughs> a way out. There isn't any. You should have considered that when jumping headfirst into an open mouth. <laughs> now you're just waste like the rest of us. 
You try to don't talk to me. Fine men. You have nothing nice to say anyways. Right, so this is a maze in itself. Hmm Righty who then Oh hi. So you went up this wall seems broken, should I walk through it? Absolutely. And it's a long way down. Yeah we'll jump. This is a huge adventure in itself. Jumping even in even deeper down into this abyss. Hmm, it's locked. What about this way? This could all just be a dream, actually. And something happened over there. There's nothing that way. Why you return to your old sprite, my friend? Like the one from off. Like what is that? And that should not be a. F <laughs> it just exit the game. The blank with a face on the thing. <laughs> a face on the poster and there's something there as well. Oh dearie me, I think this all conglomerates into just one. Oh hi there, who are you? What? You didn't want to talk. Sound like you did want to talk, but you didn't. All the pages are rotted through. Goodness sakes. Uh, it's, it's a fake elevator, goodness sakes. And you moved. This guy moved. So we need to find some people to talk to him and he moves. No. Okay, that's the way we went through, actually. We don't want to go down there. Otherwise, we end up becoming the other batter. And then we exit out of the game. Disgusting creature. Joke on our stagnant rotten weep. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the nice message there. Uh, don't look at me. Well, guess what? I'm gonna look at you straight in the face. And you're gonna like it whether you like it or not, okay? Yeah, well, I've... Yeah, we showed him. There's a door there. Well, it's a fake door. But it's something there. It reads a victim of the purge. And this, it reads, there's no going back. Of course there's no going back. Once you're down a hole this deep, there's no turning back. Even if you're fully committed to it and you want to turn back, there's no turning back. Some paths you cannot get off. No matter how hard you try to get off it, it will always stay in. There's no puns behind that, by the way. There's too many words to read. <laughs> okay, and this it reads, rejects love. There's no such thing as rejecting love. Love is not something that you can put into a physical form. It is boundless, but also at the same time it can easily be modified to be rejected. Right, I don't think there's anything in this place, so I think we should move on. That'll be all for the moment. Uh, this world is very fascinating in its own ways, but what does it have to do with the lore of this game and what it does within our quest? It's definitely an extra bit which can only be accessed when you go through the majority of the game and possibly unlock all of the memories and then from there all the supreme items to be able to get like proof that you are worthy of um holding those memories to you of the guardians themselves thank you so much for watching guys and look forward to see what is waiting in these worlds like i'm sure that the fuzzy red bloopy dark haphazard world has much more to offer it seemed like there was many more paths in it but we may never know until the next time thank you so much for watching see you all in the next time of sincere deceit we certainly are not what you'd call the main path of the game but we've completely diverged into something else entirely because we're not within the tower no 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 we're in somewhere which is probably even tougher than the tower Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.